to be joking. Well, I did ask for nurses' shoes. But surely you've got something less unsexy. Well, they've got to be comfy, that's the point. Noiseless and practical. These are obviously the standard shoes. They can be comfy and practical without looking like a pair of corrective boots. Well, the way they look's not all that important. Oh, come on. How are you going to slay all those dishy doctors looking like one of the walking wounded? See what else you can find. There's a dear. A service manual anywhere, Andy? Hmm? For the mower. I swear your mother's been clearing up again. She's not back yet. Not yet. Fancy drink? No, I want to have a bath first. Yeah, I expect the shops will murder. So, you got everything you need? More or less. I think it's a bit disgusting you have to fork out for your own scissors. <laughs> no, they were one pound twenty. I think the government would supply those. Tell you what, I'll treat you to them. Oh, Dad, it's the principle. You in tonight or off living it up? Yeah, club dance. I don't know about living it up. I promised Lucy I'd go. Tomorrow night, then. What? Thought we might go out to dinner. Just the three of us. You can ask Lucy to join us, if you like. After all, it is your last night. You're off on Sunday. It is Sunday, you go. I'm not joining the Foreign Legion, you know. It's only a train ride away. All the same, it's... Not open to discussion. Maybe it should be. Well, I sign in at five or whatever the procedure's called. Oh, and Dad, you know perfectly well it's Sunday. How long will your mother be? About five minutes, she said. That means we've got at least half an hour. Oh, she didn't get back from her old people till six. Drive? Hmm, thank you. Well, it gives us time for a chat. Facts of life. <laughs> a bit late for that. <laughs> Just a mite. Thank you. Oh, damn it, Pat, you're a super girl. You've got looks, ability, contacts. Contacts? Or I've got contacts. Great. I have nothing against nursing as such. Oh, the profession will be relieved to hear that. Oh, stop being so bloody snide. I'm just not sure it's the job for you. Not socially acceptable. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Wiping up the blood, vomit and feces? What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Now you're being deliberately obtuse. Trying to shock you? And childish. You don't shock me. Pity. Not even into some semblance of reality. Oh. I know. Your generation has the monopoly on real life with capital letters. We're just cartoons. But you're all fakes, you armchair liberals. Unlike you. Taking out nursing to keep up with your trendy pals working for shelter. Oh, look. We didn't object to your going to the training college. Well, naturally, that was a nice, clean job. Well, it was your own decision to give it up. But it wasn't what I wanted to do. And nursing is? Well, that's what I'm going to find out. I know you find this incredible, but God knows I'm not trying to interfere. I just want you to examine your motives before you plunge in yet again with all banners flying. And fail? Well, yes. If you're not being totally honest with yourself. If you're doing this for all the wrong reasons. Because I fancy myself in those dinky little caps and aprons, for instance. Remarkably high opinion you have of me, Dad. You are my daughter, Pat. We're not unalike. We're both theorizers. We both play roles. Only I'm old enough to know that not all my actions spring from a solid inner core of certainty, but often from just the reverse. Fake was your term. OK, so it's not just a burning urge to help suffering mankind. Though I do rather fancy the ministering angel bit. I do also happen to think it might be fun, but is that any reason why I shouldn't be damned good at it? Nobody says you've got to be a martyr to be a nurse. Not these days. Do you want another drink? Yes, please.
I never thought we'd have a nurse in fact. But then Pat always was full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> to you then, Pat. With all the luck in the world. Pat. To Pat. <laughs> Taxi. Oh, I would have driven you all the way, but this uh, blasted tournament starts at two. Mm, well, I'll be fine. Besides, I enjoy the train. It gives me time to think. <laughs> yes. Well. Good luck, my dear. it all at once. <laughs> Stone on my first day on the board. That'll be something. are not to be attached to the walls. Please hang pictures on the rails. Okay. When pictures are removed from the walls, it leaves marks, which is unfair to your colleagues who live in this room after you. Signed, something or other, Principal Nursing Officer. I don't know, I haven't tried it on yet. Did you want to come in? Mm. Bit of a dump, isn't it? Oh, plenty big enough. I mean, you'd think they'd tart them up a bit. Actually, yours isn't the same as mine. Mine's a bit longer, but I don't think it's as wide. Oh, I hope you've seen the notice in the wardrobe. Well, it's only sensible. Oh, I'd hate to incur the wrath of the broomsticks so early on in the proceedings. I think I already have. Do you, um, do you smoke? I don't, thanks. No. Oh, ye gods, if Lucy could see me now. Your sister? No, she's a friend. She thinks I'm stark raving mad to go in for this lot. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder myself. Well, I wouldn't care, but they do ask you for your measures. And this thing fits where it touches. Mummy says they always do that. Make them bigger to allow for shrinkage. Oh, she was training for a nurse. What happened? Didn't she like it? She loved it. Your granny was taken badly and she had to come home. I mean, that was when she was my age. So she didn't mind you going in for it then? No, sure she encouraged it. I think she had doubts when it actually came to me going. She'll be very lonely. She relies on me a lot. What about your father? Mammy's a widow. It's just me and the kids. Uh, they did that. Go on away, cousin Farmy. Oh, that's sweet. That's the farm, the lane, and that's Sean, Kate, and Patrick peeping out from behind the tree. And that's Mammy. And that's Ignatius the cat that looks mm. more like a pig. <laughs> <sighs> well, best get back to my cell, get it all sorted out. Oh, you don't happen to know how to fold that, do you? Well, expect they'll show us. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just being a silly kid, really dying to get into all this gear. That's when we really begin to feel like nurses. Yeah, I got a little kick out of it when Brumstock called me nurse. <laughs> Shall I call for you later? We can go to this coffee thing together. I like that fine. Right, see you then. <laughs> no jewellery, I'm afraid. Of course, if you're married, you can wear your wedding ring, but otherwise, strictly no jewellery. Well, again, this is a rule made for the benefit of both staff and patients. You could damage your jewellery if you wear it during your work, and you could also quite easily hurt your patient. Tomorrow, you also have a heath test, and Sister from Sickbay will probably come along to see you if you have any current medical problems. Well, I, uh, I think that's about it. If um, anybody's got any questions... Uh, you mentioned yeah. a test. A HEF test, yes. It's for tuberculosis. Just a routine check. It's a skin test, actually. I see. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and nail varnish. No coloured nail varnish, please. And, of course, no claws. Oh, damn. It's taken me ages to grow those. Me too. <laughs> yes. Well, we don't want our patients leaving the hospital scratched to pieces. I knew you didn't bring them. I always think family photos are rather twee to have around. But it does make the place seem more homely. Yeah. Well, cheers, nurse. Cheers, nurse. Mm -hmm. Take a pew. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Don't know what? Uh, whether I'm doing the right thing. My folks don't think I am. Why ever not? God knows. I think they think I'm just messing about. I did do a secretarial course once. I had a receptionist job and it bored the pants off me. Then I went to teach training college for a year. Didn't you like that either? Yeah, it was all right. Couldn't see myself spending the rest of my life teaching kids, though. Well, there's nothing wrong with making a false start. As long as you end up with the right thing. Uh, doesn't bother you, though. I mean, some of the things we'll have to do. Well, it's not all flitting about the wards looking cool and efficient, is it? I mean, it can be messy, to say the least. That doesn't bother me. Why should it? No, I suppose you get used to it. Even people dying and all that. Have you ever seen anybody die? Oh, yes. My granny. She died at our house. Oh. Well, it's certainly a whole new ball game, as they say. You must be exhausted. Two days travelling. Yes, I got a lift to the docks and then the overnight ferry. So I am a bit tired. Mm. And then I got the train to Paddington Station. Paddington? What time did you get in? About quarter past four. It was late. You didn't. I was on that train. Go away. Yeah, it stops at Bath. That's where I live. I got on there. Fancy that. Both on the same train and we never even knew. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a good omen. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, go on. One for the road? After all, eat, drink and be merry. For tomorrow we start to be nurses. <laughs> 